talking with one of the Syracuse all-time great players, Marvin Harrison's come back to Syracuse for the spring game. And Marvin, you know, we could sit here and talk about all the great exploits you had here as a player, the 98-yard touchdown catch against West Virginia, the punt return against Boston College, the great catch in the Gator Bowl against Clemson. I said, but you know what? I want to go further back. Okay. I want to go back to what made you decide to come to Syracuse University. Um... You know, I visited a lot of schools during my time, and uh, you know, on my on my recruiting visit here, you know, I had I just had I just felt like it was home, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, the campus living facility, you know, the, 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 every, the way uh, Coach Pasqualoni did everything here, my recruiter uh, Bob Casulo, you know, when I got here, you know, I visited a couple other schools, but when I came here, just like okay, this is home, this is like a home to me. So from that day on, you know, it worked out well for me. So kind of a, the family atmosphere or the, and the camaraderie in the locker room, would you say? Yeah, I mean, it was just, it's just everything. Like, you know, the, like I said, the living quarters, the, the coaches, the, you know, everyone, it was just a family affair. And you know, I made a lot of great friends uh, along the way and while, while I was on my visit. And even to last week, I seen George Rooks, who was here when I was a freshman, yeah, you know. Right. So uh, we just made a lot of good friends here. It was a family-oriented uh, program. All the, great, all the great things you want to talk about accomplishments, let's talk about education a little bit, because that's very, very important. You come to Syracuse, the guy that graduated here. What's your most memorable, I guess, educational experience? Um, I, I, I said this during my, um, my, my Hall of Fame speech. I had a teacher named uh, Sid Johnson. And uh, we had to do a, a stand-up presentation. And I told her, I said, you know, Miss Johnson, I'm not going to be able to do that. She's like, well, that's no problem. You don't have to do it. I'm like, hooray. But she's, at the end of the class, she said, Marvin, I want to talk to you. I said, about what? She said, I just want to let you know, if you don't do the presentation, you can't pass the class. And I almost fell out, I think, you know. <laughs> so uh, from that day on, she told me that at some point in time in your life, you're going to have to give a, a very valuable speech. And uh, she was right. But uh, yeah. here at Syracuse, I had a lot of support. We had a lot of tutors. We had a lot of things that helped us get, get to where we're going to be at uh, this day in my life. Now let's talk about on the field. Best favorite, <laughs> most memorable moment for you personally? Uh, my memory doesn't oh, serve me that good going back that far, okay. but, <laughs> but, but I had a lot of great memories there. Yeah. You know, we had a lot of great times. And even on, on our, our days when we had our spring game, those are some of the memorable moments because I know I'm out here fighting for starting positions. Right. So I just knew that from that day on that, you know, when you come out here, every time I stepped on this field, that I came out here to play to make myself, you know, able to play a, a long career. From there to the NFL, and when you first got to Indianapolis, they were kind of just trying to get over the hump. And then, of course, they picked up you, Peyton Manning, a lot of other great players. What brought it all together, do you think, in Indianapolis to win that Super Bowl championship? Well, we, we, when, I came, when I left here, I left here with a great work ethic. And when I got to Indianapolis, Peyton came on with a work ethic. And then we had a couple of coaches that, that came on. They all played a big role in me being who I am today. So. Uh, Indianapolis, you know, we weren't good teams in, in the beginning of my career. We had 3-13, and 13, I think, twice. And then from that day on, we just kept plugging, kept plugging, kept plugging, and we became a, a contender in the NFL. So it's just a credit to, you know, where it started at here at Syracuse and where I finished at Indianapolis. And, and, and going on from there, what was it like that day you got that call that, wow, I'm now a Hall of Famer? Uh, that uh, hadn't sank in right away. Right. You know, it took some time for that. But, uh like I said, it all started, you know, start somewhere. And I, with my high school days, then choosing the right college here at Syracuse, uh, then, then going to Indianapolis, you know, everything couldn't be scripted any better for me to end up in the Hall of Fame. And I'll tell you something, here at Wide Receiver University, guys like Art Monk, Rob Moore, Rob Carpenter, Kevin Johnson, Shelby Hill, many that I'm probably forgetting, one of the all-time greats, number eight, Marvin Harrison. Thank you, Marvin. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much.